sorry, important for you to remember is that the length of a line segment is calculated. AB is always the line segment that is being asked. And then you have two coordinates. The one coordinate is x2, y2, and the other coordinate is x1, y1. Okay, and then to get the length of the shorter side, you have x squared my uh, x2 minus x1, the two x coordinates, which you square plus importantly plus, and then y2 minus y1, which you then also square. Okay, the two and the one can be swapped around. Okay, look at that. You can also first take the x1 coordinate, then you must also take the y1 first. Look at this one importantly. You can't take x2 minus x1 and then take y1 minus y2. So you may not swap that around. You must either start both with the x and y1 or you must start both with the x2 and the y2. All right, now without any further ado, let's look at the following question. It says you must find the distance between two points. The one is given as negative 2, 4, and the other one is given as 5, negative 3. All right, so point number one is choose one of the points as x1, y1, and the second one, please take note, there is a mistake in the textbook here. That should be 5, negative 3. Okay, and the 5, negative 3, we now choose as x2, y2. So step number 1, write down your formula, right? The formula is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And if you have written down your coordinates like this, okay, which I want you to do, people, that is really step one, is to write down the coordinates and to label them as point one and point two, right? Then when you have your formula, you can quite easily go, where's x2? x2 is five, so substitute five. Then we subtract, where's x1? It's negative two, so substitute negative two, and that must go into brackets and that must be squared. Then we have plus, then find your y2, which is negative three, okay? And then minus y1, y1 is four, so minus four, put that in bracket and square it, right? Now, if we calculate that for first lot, then we get seven. And if we calculate the second lot here, we get negative seven. And if you put that into your calculator, it gives you the square root of 49 plus 49, which is 98. And if you calculate that on your calculator, it gives you an answer of 9.90, which is um, rounded, correct to three significant figures. So the distance between these two points is 9.90. So let me just quickly repeat what are the steps. Number one is write down your coordinates and label them as coordinate 1, x1, y1, and as coordinate 2, x2, y2. Please do it like this example here. Right, then the next step is to write down your formula. Remember people, this formula comes from Pythagoras. Okay, Pythagoras really is the longest side squared, right? In this case, it's not squared because we've taken the square root there. Then we have a short side squared plus another short side squared. Okay, and the way you calculate the shorter sides is by subtracting the relevant coordinates. Okay, so then write down your formula x2 minus x1 plus squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, so repeat that x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Remember, I taught you already that you should get a rhythm when you learn formulas. Try to read it in a, with a specific speed or a specific slowness or whatever. So I read this again. Okay, the formula is the square root of then x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, right? 
Now keep on repeating that so that you can learn the formula. All right, then in the next step, you substitute. Right, substitution is in this case really easy. You just simply go and read it off from your coordinates there. Remember when we substitute, we put it into brackets, right? And importantly, there is a minus and there is a minus, okay? Because it's a negative coordinate, you must substitute that with a negative 2. And once you basically have that, you then do step 4 and 5 and 6, which is calculation, okay? Until you get your answer, which you will always round to three significant figures. Okay, so now you can do try 1. I hope this is clear because this is actually quite easy.